What's up guys, Dante here with Overland Rebel ATL and today we're going to talk about the number one question I get is does it rub? Do 35 inch tires on a Ram Rebel with 11 kit rub? So I'm going to go over what trimming I had to do and turn the wheel a few times let you kind of see what I did to prevent it from rubbing. Let me know if you have any questions. So first things first, this is a 2021 Ram Rebel with a two and a half inch Motofab front spacer and a one and a half inch rear motofab spacer uh, the wheels are a 18 inch fuel shook or shock however you want to pronounce it s-h-o-k this is a 18 by 9 minus 12 offset it's hella tight with the brake caliper you gotta watch where they are mounting the weights so it doesn't hit the caliper. So there's a good uh, view of what you're looking at there. The factory wheels are also super close with the caliper and the wheel. So a lot of people have questions. How did you get the fit? If it's just slap it on there. Um, again, this is a 35, 12, 50, uh, 18 inch tire, Nitto trail grappler. This is one of the most aggressive, I'd say, mud terrain tires out there and basically a true 35 inch tire so first things first things that I had to trim or cut this is the factory mud flap not right there this is coming off you don't need it it looks fine without it so don't get your panties in a wad when you have to take it off uh, next thing the area that we trimmed uh, you can kind of see here on the inner plastics um, the metal is right here and I did not cut any metal so all we cut was plastic so this follow this little line we drew it with a sharpie and I just cut it with some little plastic snips uh, no big deal not even a dremel so super easy to trim um, I'm going to crank the wheel so you can see. So this is that full lock. It is not rubbing. I'll try to get this camera in there where you can see. See the daylight on the other side of the tire? That means it's not going to rub. This is full lock. Oh no, it's touching. So at this angle, which I would call less than full lock, you can get a little rubbage. Literally, it's like the point of the little knobby that's gonna touch. This will only happen to me when I'm in reverse if the truck is at this certain angle. Uh, that's the only time I can get it to rub, so it's not that big of a deal for me. But it's still making contact with the plastic. I'm sure if I really wanted to, or it bugged me enough, I could go in there and trim it some more. Uh, you do have that metal bracket behind here, which would then make you need to trim some of the metal. So, not a big deal for me, but not a big issue for me either. So, I hope this video helped. Um, again, 18 by 9 minus 12 on a 35 1250 18 inch Nitto trail grappler. Thanks, guys.